Nikki here. Kelly here. And today we are reviewing Three Dark Crowns by Kendair Blake. And the song that we picked for this is by Sia. And I'm sure you all know it very well. <laughs> I, it's uh, Titanium mm -hmm. by Sia. So, good song. Give it a listen. And we wanted to pick it just because she's a pretty, she has a powerful voice and, um, you know, powerful female um Princesses. So, <laughs> so this book is super good. I I love this book. So it follows three sisters, and these three sisters, when they were born, they they got to stay with each other for a few years, but then they were ripped apart and taken to be raised in different areas of the kingdom. Let me quote here: the kingdom. <laughs> so. So then that was it. And then it gets even worse by the fact that they are told and they know that they are going to be killing each other. There can only be one queen. So basically a fight to the death. It's a fight to the death. Between the three. And they're triplets. <clears throat> so, mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. So, so when they were born, crazy. so when they were born, mom, she, okay, so we got to backtrack a little bit. There are three gifts or talent that the sisters have. One will be a poisoner. Let me see if I can find. If you'll look here on the, There's you the, poisoner. the three different three different pictures. Let me see if I can just let me just read this synopsis to you. In every generation on the island of Finburn, a set of triplets is born. Three queens, all equal heirs to the crown, and each a possessor of a coveted magic. Marabella is a fierce elemental, able to spark hungry flames or vicious storms at the snap of her fingers. Catherine is the poisoner, one who can ingest the deadliest poisons without so much as a stomach ache. Arsinoe, a naturalist, is said to have the ability to bloom the reddest rose and control the fiercest lions. But becoming the queen crowned isn't solely a matter of royal birth. Each sister has to fight for it. And it's not just a game of win or lose. It's life or death. The night the sisters turn 16, the battle begins. So. It's intense. I just thought you saw. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty sad because your heart aches for these girls. You're going to you're gonna follow the three girls. Um. You know, they have their separate little chapters in here, and it kind of bounces back and forth from sister to sister. And Catherine, the poisoner, she's, like, you know something's up. Like, the poison makes her sick. Mm -hmm. So she's frail, and so that's just a little a little part of, of Catherine. Arsenal, I mean, she has, she's 16, or she's almost 16, and she doesn't have a familiar yet, which all of the naturalists have familiars. Or, I can't talk. <laughs> but Marabella is a different story because from the beginning, Marabella is... The strongest. She's, and... Yes, she's on fire. Oh, literally. <laughs> so, you kind of know right off the bat that... Something's going down. <laughs> and Marabella is probably going to be the queen... And and we don't want to give too much away. I say that way too much. I think I've said that in every single video. We don't want to give too much away. But, but we don't. But we don't. <laughs> we want you to read it. Three sisters. And they loved each other. Mm -hmm. They they were kids and they loved each other. And they were raised together for the first six years, I think. Yeah, something like or that. Or ten years. It's It's been a while since I've read it. But they were raised together. And then they were just ripped apart and told... You're going to have to kill your sisters if you want to live to be queen. Could you imagine that? So we're going to we're going to follow all three of these girls through up, leading up to the ceremony where they're to be introduced to the um, suitors. I don't want to say anything else. I am going to say that if you can't tell how excited I am about this book, She's not talking much. <laughs> I could not get into this book. Um, and so, again, we rarely disagree when it comes to books. And so Kelly loved it. And 
I I just could not get into it. Um, I'm not sure what it was. I love Kendara Blake as an author, so I know it wasn't her, but just something about this book. I just couldn't couldn't get get to it. I loved it though. I five starred it. I, I, I did. I loved it. Three, two and a half, three stars for me. It happens. I know. We don't always agree. Throw on the tomatoes book. on me. <laughs> don't throw tomatoes at her. We still love her. But um, this is also a beautiful book to add. Let's mm -hmm. talk about just what it looks like. Nikki does love what it looks like. Yes, it is pretty. It has that suede feel. Oh, I love that. I wish all mm -hmm. the books were like that now. I love when you get the paperbacks that are oh, like I know. that. Like Mary Dyer was soft like yes. this, and I really like that. And you just want to like rub it and touch Look it. Even if I didn't like the book, book, I can still like how it looks. I really love Kendare Blake. I read, um, well, we read the... Um, Anna Dressed in Blood series, and that was the first that we'd ever even heard of Kendare Blake. Yeah. And then, and now this one. And I think that Nikki's going to give it another shot when the second book comes out, because there will be a sequel. Mm -hmm. It does leave it open. And prepare yourself for that, because <laughs> it's pretty much a cliffhanger. So... So I am going to read it again once it gets closer to the second book coming out, and I'll give it another shot. Um, but right now there are just more books out there that I am more wanting to read and more um, that are catching my attention. So we'll try it again, and if my opinion changes, then maybe I'll post another video about it. <laughs> and if not, oh, it's okay. I bet, I bet she still likes the second book. I think the second book is going to be a lot... I mean, we're just, you know, we're learning about the girls in this book, and we're finding there's a big plot twist, so that's pretty exciting. So um, we're kind of learning about the girls and, and what's going on, and I really feel like the intense part is going to happen in the second book. So super excited <laughs> about the second book. I can't wait for it to come out, and I'm going to read it again also, so we'll both probably reread this book, and um, another one of our friends, we call her our uh, soul, soul sister, sister. <laughs> she, she loved it too. We should have so, had her as a guest. I know. She, she loved it too. So we both, Missy, our friend, mm -hmm. we both rated it a five, so I think I think Nikki will reread it, and I think she'll like it when she has the other book to read with it. But I'm not trying to turn you to the dark side. I'm not <laughs> being stubborn. Get it, three dark crowns. Okay, I'm done. That was cheesy. <laughs> You're so punny. Uh, ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> All okay. right, guys. Three dark crowns by Kendare Blake. Five stars for me. Three for me. It's okay. We still love you. Bye, Thanks, guys. guys.